Hello everybody, this is Madhafar. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use OpenAI's GPT-3 in VS Code. Before we proceed, make sure you have an account in OpenAI. To create an account, please go to openai.com and from there, uh, you can create your account. If you uh, already have an account, uh, you can log in. Otherwise, uh, just go to uh, openai.com and click on this API uh, link. And then from here, you can either do login or if you don't have an account, you can press sign up. For me, I, I already have an account uh, in OpenAI, so I will do login. And once login, uh, you will end up on uh, this page, this OpenAI dashboard. So before we proceed, just a bit background on GPT-3. So GPT-3 is a language model uh, that is trained on uh, like large data set and uh, upcoming is uh, GPT-4 which will be even bigger and chat GPT behind the scene uses uh, GPT-3 language model. The API we will be using uh, uh, from here uh, is basically GPT-3's API. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, start. So we will be making use of a VS Code extension called Code GPT. This is the extension and uh, this uh, extension can basically interface with multiple uh, AI providers like uh, OpenAI, Cohere and uh, AL21. So let's go and install it in VS Code. So I have it, I have a folder already open in uh, VS Code, uh, VS Code. Uh, called code GPT and from here I will click on extensions and find code GPT here code GPT yeah and this is the one uh, this is the extension I was referring to uh, it has 40k installations at the moment so let's click and click install button it is now installed now let's try to reload VS Code or maybe it will work without even reloading it. So let's go back to the file section and create a file. We will be making use of this file. So I will be creating app.py file. You can create whichever, uh, you can create a file in whichever uh, extension you want. So yeah, this is done. And now uh, let's uh, uh, set API key. So how this uh, extension works is uh, you add an extension and uh, after adding the extension it is able to uh, communicate with the API and then uh, you can basically uh, talk to the API right. So yeah. There are multiple ways to do that. Uh, first, uh, let's press uh, Command P and write here code GPT. And you see, I'm getting multiple options like uh, remove API key and set API key. Let's click on set API key. And uh, we need to fetch, uh, we need to generate this API key from OpenAI before we can set it here, right? So let's go back to the browser go back to the OpenAI dashboard, click on uh, your uh, accounts uh, thumbnail and then from here click on view API, API keys and from here uh, you can see I already have one API uh, secret key generated I don't need that one. I will be deleting that a uh, little later. So let's create uh, one more uh, secret key here. And let's wait until it is uh, created. So yeah, I got it. Let me copy this and head over to the VS Code and just paste it there, right? And press enter. 
so now api key has been saved don't worry about uh, you seeing this api key here i will be revoking it shortly after uh, recording this video right? so let's press ok and then uh, go back to the vs code now uh, i should be able to see more options here let me restart vs code you can click code and quit vs code and launch it again Now let's open the extension page again for GPT. So yeah, this one it seems good. I think I was not seeing something, which is why I restarted it. So yeah, let's start with the first example they have shown here. So we can uh, like uh, talk to. Uh, GPT-3 API uh, using a comment directly from VS Code. So let's write a comment uh, to generate a function, right? So in Python, I can start a comment with hash, and uh, I can see I can say create a function uh, which adds two numbers and returns the result. So now what they are uh, mentioning here is command shift i so i can just uh, on the same line i can press command shift and i and now gpt3 is working on it and yeah we got the method which sums uh, two numbers and uh, returns the sum right this uh, looks good to me uh, i don't care about this one so yeah this is one example and let's close this area another example we can do is uh, ask uh, gpt3 right so this one we can also do like let's press command p again and here uh, I can write GPT. Let's write code GPT. Code GPT. And here uh, there is ask GPT, right? If I click it, I should be able to, you know, uh, ask something to uh, uh, GPT-3. Uh, you can also find this option when you right click on the document and uh, you will see ask GPT in the context menu, right? So let's click on it and what they are mentioning here uh, let's follow the example so yeah let's let's try something out on my mind. so let's click on ask gpt and uh, uh, say uh, what is a factory defined data? I think you got the picture. Now let's go back to the uh, open AI dashboard and see some options here. Uh, so if we if we go to the dashboard, let's start from uh, this view API page again. From here, if you click on usage, uh, you will be able to see how much of uh, uh, free trial uh, credit you have used already. So maximum uh, you are given is $18. Uh, but if you make a lot of uh, use of it, then uh, you will end up utilizing all of the code, obviously. <laughs> all of the uh, usage, uh, obviously. So yeah. Uh, this is one option you can make use of and you can always come back to API keys and see existing keys and create new keys and you know if you don't uh, use any key anymore then just revoke them from here so 
if you have only one key you won't be able to revoke it in order to revoke it you have to create another key then you can revoke the previous keys right so i will also do the same so the keys i have shown in the video uh, will be revoked later so yeah i hope uh, you got the whole picture and you enjoyed the video so yeah that's about it for this video i'll see you in next video